Hello everyone, my name is Yogesh. Welcome to TechSupplier. So this video is about implementing rule level security on SQL Server. This is a quite a easy topic to cover. So let me show you why it is required. So if I query a orders database, order table into my Northwind database, I can see the data and I can see the customer ID and there's a lot of data. Now assume you are using SQL Server as a central DB for your warehouse, or you can say implementing a reporting, or you can say a database where you want to people to connect with their connection string, and you want to en enforce certain level of principle in terms of rule level security. Like even if they miss the uh, while, uh, you can say where conditions, they still get filtered data. So for to do that, first we need to create the logins. And then we'll add the users to our user group. And then we'll create a function. Now, one more thing in the function, you will see uh, this is the predicate function where we pass the column name and it ensures. So the, the definition remains same. So you don't you cannot change it. So here what we so you can just change the column names or the function names, but not much uh, more much more there. But what I'm doing is I'm saying when the column ID is equal to the currently logged in user ID. So I have used the same username as the customer ID. So if it is same, then show me the data, else filter it out. So if by default, I have added something called DBO, because if I don't add DBO, even the default user will not be able to see any data. That's how the predicate works. So DBO is like when I logged in, so DBO is my default schema. So that's the username it, it will be producing. So once you create this function, then you just need to create a security policy where I'm saying for the orders, implement this function for filter predicate, and it's based on customer ID column. So the column name which I have passed here, it will come here and it will work like this. Now, one more thing this function is schema mining means neither you cannot alter the function or you cannot change the database or uh, table, modify it uh, unless you delete or drop this one or disable this. So, but anyhow, let's come to it. So, first, first we have done is we have created a filter function and then we have added the filter predicate using security policy. Now, I will just grant access to my users for selection. Now, if I do select star from orders, I can see all the data because you remember, I have given myself access to DBO. Because if I run this query, select username, by default, it says DBO, even if I'm logged in as a Windows user. Now, after that, if I say execute it as H-A-N-A-R, then what will happen is I will be acting like a, uh, this user. So if I do this one and I run this query, I can only see I'm logged in as that user. This is impersonation. If you haven't heard of it, you need to know about this one. So you can learn about impersonation. It's a very good topic. Okay, now I'm, as I'm acting as this user, so if I do select star, I can only see this user data. So by default, even if I don't add any filter predicate, it will enforce it. So if I do revert it and I do select star from orders again, I can see all the data because now my current user is nothing but DBU. Now, if I act it as uh, the same for the other user, so I'm selecting the username, so it is acting as a username and data get automatically filtered out. It's a quick video. If you have any question, let me know. It's a very simple concept, but going forward, this is one of the best way of implementing security. Yep. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.